Is that mine? My number 15. Thank you. <laughs> it's gonna go cold. Yeah, we started with five fans, and I think we got about 50 now. So we're doing all right. What's the most unusual venue that you've played over the years? I played this place called the Betsy Trotwood, which is in the basement of this bar. The stage is about this big, probably about as big as the toilets here in, in the railway park. And they had two little video cameras. The area in front of the stage could only hold about 10 people, but they had these little archway sort of dens off to the side with TV screens where you could watch the performance on these video cameras. It's all old black and white little TVs. You have the camera here, you'd have people looking at you right here. And then you, if you said something funny or looked at the camera, you could hear laughter in the little dens. Ooh. You know? <laughs> We sold about three CDs that night. Good night. Waiting for the right time. We did the first year of the Pete Performance Project. What Bob Deeth and, and uh, Music BC and the Pete Performance Project are doing is, is uh, getting together, you know, reconnecting the bands that are in Vancouver. I think the main goal is to to retain the, the, the scene of Vancouver. There are people still doing what you're doing, struggling. You know, Trying to make it, man. Let's not talk about tomorrow. What happened after that? Like, Jeff Austin said, "Well, do you want to? Do you want to master it yourself? Do you want to mix it? I could mix it for you." I usually use Mike Fraser, and we said, <laughs> "It works for Angus. It works for us. You know, let's go." We met him at Warehouse, which is an incredible studio, and we sat down on these two couches. You know, hey, Mike, how's it going? Looking around, there's this, these flags signed by ACDC. Rock on, Mike, Angus. I'm like, they probably sat right here. You know, it was just amazing. They're both really nice guys, super cool guys. Mike Fraser's totally chill. And they uh, apparently play a really good game of golf. And they invited us, and I'm like, I don't play golf. I said, well, neither do they. It's all about drinking. Let's not talk about you have to be able to do a show. Wear a skirt, wear a big wig, or whatever it is, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's good too. And you know, you can be cheesy. You're allowed to be cheesy up there. It's theater. Rock and roll. It's rock and roll theater, yeah. I mean, you know, people say, oh, it's all about the music and stuff. Like, yeah, it is. But I'm not going to sit there for 45 minutes while you just. I don't think the creativity stops at, at the music. You see, you've gone into the live show and, and marketing and everything else that's involved with being a successful band. Oh, yeah.